minutes. And that strike has now entered day seven with no end in sight. Negotiations have reached uh, another stalemate. The issue has now become a political football. The city of Cape Town officials and cabinet ministers are currently engaging in a war of words. The strike has claimed five lives and is causing major disruptions. ENC reporter Kevin Brandt earlier was on the streets of Cape Town, back in our studios now, just to give us an update. Good afternoon, Kevin. Welcome to today on this Women's Day. Have we heard anything yet from the Texas Association Santaco today about the impasse in relation to the negotiations? A very good afternoon to you, Dan. Various religious leaders here in Cape Town today gathered at the St. George's Cathedral where they prayed for peace following the scenes of violence and destruction that we've seen played out here in Cape Town communities over the past week. We've seen how vehicles were set alight. We've heard from authorities, in particular the education sector, who highlighted the negative impact that this strike has had on learners also those in healthcare spoke out with regard to the impact that the ongoing taxi strike has on the provision of healthcare within the province. So at this interfaith prayer meeting at the St. George's Cathedral, we heard from various church leaders and also Mandla Hermanes, he is the Santaco Western Cape chairperson. And he once again reiterated that they want this strike to play out in a peaceful manner he has again spoken out against this, the acts of violence that accompanied this uh, display of frustration with the laws that the city of Cape Town, as the taxi drivers put it, enforces on them too harsh. But Mandla feels that they will this afternoon then have another meeting with senior officials and we expect some form of update with regard to where the strike is going and what more or less commuters can expect come tomorrow. Just listen to what he said, Dan. There are lots of consultations that are, are happening and there are lots of things that we are not agreeing between ourselves and, and government at this junction. And we have this threat that is over and over our heads that when we go back to operations, 25 vehicles will be impounded for every taxi that, or for every bus or car that was stolen or damaged during the period of this day. So that thing is still hanging over us. So we don't want to send our operators into a lion's den as it were. Uh, Kevin, you mentioned that uh, interfaith prayer service and that uh, happened a bit earlier. I wonder what the city of Cape Town officials uh, have, been, have been saying. I mean, is there anything new that we're learning about this? Gordon Hill Lewis also addressed uh, people who attended this church service this afternoon and he once again guaranteed the residents of Cape Town that they will ensure the safety of each and every person um, within their various communities. He also offered and extended condolences to the families of the people who've lost their lives over this past week and once again just assured the Cape Townians and the residents here within the Western Cape also that there will be a resolve with regard to this impasse. Yes, what the mayor said. Dan? Obviously when people don't respect the rule of law uh, it could be considered a symbolic victory but I think it's an important symbolic victory that sends a clear message to taxi uh, thugs and gangsters that if they do break the terms of that court order they will also be held in contempt the key uh, I think victory or progress that it has already delivered this morning is that we've had a perfectly peaceful morning this morning in Cape Town and I've just come to join this bus now to see that our buses are being escorted uh, in and out of town and around the city and that our commuters who are using our buses can do so peacefully and safely because our first priority is protecting the commuters who are trying to get around the city. And so we are doing a great job. You can see we on the N2 there, we are passing very strong law enforcement presence, a very strong SAPS presence that is keeping the peace and protecting our commuters. Thank you very much, Kevin, there for that update about what's happening in Cape Town.